Good morning, cultists! In our previous episode, we left things off after getting completely rocked by a bunch of wisps. Yeah, it did not end well for us. On the plus side, I have some ideas on how to approach that fight now, so I guess that's a good thing. Um, so I noticed that Ferbosi was dodging a lot of their lightning stuff, which I think we might want to take advantage of. So, why don't we situate ourselves around here-ish, and we'll let Ferbosi take the brunt of the attack. Temporarily, at least. And we'll also put in a protection from electricity. Sure. Uh, then we'll beef up Ferbosi, since he's going to be tanking for us, I think. And what else? Um, maybe a shield of faith? Is that really necessary? Well, we'll do it regardless. And I don't know if we need to do Thorn Body and Fabrosi, because I think they were attacking us with um, magic and stuff, if I'm not mistaken. But just in case, put on some bark skin. And... Wait, do we have some kind of potion that increases our... Not mage armor, because that's just AC, I think. I think. Uh, no, I guess not? Question mark? Hmm. Oh, oops, I forgot about the uh, Bracer of Armor. Let me put that on Valerie. Oh, that makes no difference. Okay, then maybe for Rosie? Yeah, much better. Wow. Can't believe his um, AC is now higher than Valerie's. Interesting. Local resistance. Hmm, oh, that does actually increase your reflex save a bit more. Oh, interesting. Not sure I like that green. I do like the wyvern skin cloak a little bit, but, um... Hmm, plus four resistance, bonus on saving throws against poison, sleep, and paralysis. Right. But he doesn't really benefit from that, so I guess we'll just use this instead. Sure. Just double checking. Uh, Valerie, then I guess we'll give you this. Sure. Oh no. It actually lowers your um, saving throws there. Then maybe on Jubilost? Because I think everyone else has a cape. Yeah. Alright, Juby. Then we'll give you that. And the Bracer of Armor. Let's put that on Harem. That makes no difference. Right, then maybe Ekun? No difference. Jubilost? No difference. And I think I actually took off the brace, Braces of Archery. Oops, my bad. Well, no one benefit from this at all? Really? Huh. I see. I think I understand what it says there. Alright, cool. Um, So you have the Wand of Magic Missiles, yes? Yes. It's not very powerful though, I don't think. All right, well, that's fine. Uh, for Brosi, let me just quick save and let's do this, boy. All right, get in there. Whoa, you're moving real fast. Holy crap, holy. A lot of buffs there, dude. And you know what? I think I'm just going to ignore this because I don't know what uh, succeeding on that will do. My name All right, your flesh. everyone stay put. Let Forbosi take the brunt of the uh, damage here. Or just completely ignore everything that they're throwing at him, which is perfect. Uh, I don't know how much lightning they have, but I'm assuming that since they're approaching me that they are out of the lightning stuff? Seems like it. Alright, go for it, kids. Uh, Harem, let's have you summon some undead if you don't mind, thanks. And Valerie getting closer, I know he's not visible right now, but um, gotta do something. And Lindsay... I don't know if this will work. I'm pretty sure they're going to be immune to it, but let's try fascinating these guys just in case. Just in case. And now for both these... Whoa! Wait, hold on. You've actually managed to uh, fascinate one of them? Or two of them, as a matter of fact. Really? All right, then everyone go after the one that just went invisible. Fuck. Um, they're all attacking the ones that are fascinated right now, which is... A big no-no. Alright. We might want to heal Fabrosi up a little bit. Uh, let's also use Rebooter's Bane on this War Wisp that is not fascinating right now. 
Alright, so that's still the uh, War Wisp uh, dealing damage to Fabrosi. Alright, I think we're going to need to uh, heal him up. So why don't we use Freedom of Movement, which I'm hoping we will not need right now. No, you idiot! You've attacked the wrong one, you dingus! Oh, you buffoons! Oh, you frickin' buffoons. Alright, um... Fabrosi's dead, isn't he? Yeah... He's dead as shit. I don't think your uh, potions are gonna help you there, buddy. But, um... Hey, your cape's looking a lot better. That's nice. But see if you can maybe prevent your death, please. Is all of this blood mine? Yeah, I, uh... I don't think you're gonna survive this one, buddy. But, uh, let's take these off. And instead give you some of the uh, better ones. There we go. Go for it, kid. Try to lost as, uh, last as long as you can. Yep, there he goes. Fantastic! Look at that, we actually killed one of them. That's incredible. I mean, they also took down Fabrosi, but um, as long as they don't actually kill him, we should be okay. Knock on wood. And there goes our support. Can you get another stack of... Nope. No stack of angry, sweaty... Uh, skeletal dudes. Gotcha. Uh, what else can we do to increase our... I guess since they're not fascinated anymore, let's just inspire courage instead. And I think that should help us out a little bit. Alright, at least Valerie's still fairly beefy, though she's taking a fuck ton of damage. Alright, uh, let's try to keep her up and about. I know Fabrosi might be a better um, shot against the uh, Wisps, but still. Look at that. Fantastic. Only one. Oh! We killed him. Nice! And it only took Fabrosi's uh, dignity. Fantastic. Stupid Wisps. Coin with Helitropsia's name. Coin with Wilbur's name. And coin with Wilbur's name. Who the fuck is Wilbur? And why does that name Calitropsia sound familiar? Um. What's so it? I seem to recall this guy talking about something about wisps? Was that right? Or am I mistaken? I'm just gonna quickly save and see what he's about. Maybe I should heal up first. Uh, Dorsey said you'd sold your daughter to the Fae. Is it true? I have opened the well and scattered the Will of the Wisps. Found some coins in the well. Here, have a look. Dorsey said you sold your daughter to the Fae. Is it true? Dorsey, ha ha ha. That's the one to listen to. Ha ha ha. That rascal would have some tales to tell, no doubt. doubt, doubt. He was her fiancé, you see. See, see. Rich, handsome, handsome, handsome. He was courting her, and then all of a sudden, she changed her mind about being wed, wed, wed. The old man sighs and gives a faint shrug. Um, my night I was taking, uh, went for a walk in the woods and found a new love there, there, one of the fae, fae. Naturally drove Dorsey into a rage, rage, screaming he, the fae had charmed her away, away. But think a moment, moment, moment. He turns to you, eyebrows are raised. What man can compare the beauty of the Fey, Fey, Fey? Knight had left Dorsey of her own free will, will, will. Um, okay. Your daughter married one of the Fey? Maybe she did, did, did. By the time of wedding, ha I had passed, passed, passed. My stool, that is, is. Still, a Fey marriage isn't, wasn't unheard of here in the village, village, village. Can you stop echoing, um, fakely, please? Sorry. Fay lived close in the woods, trysts happened, love bloomed, people, children were born. You know, you're just walking down the street and suddenly you see a fairy and then bam, you're just fucking it vigorously. Happens all the time. I mean, happened to me just the other day and I'm still a ghost. Take Elga Ver Verniex, for instance. Her mom convinced her in the forest, her father, a satyr of all things. Oh, conceived her in the forest, her father, a satyr of all things. Elga was born with greenish skin as sharp ears. Ah, but so sharp, pretty she was. Mm, wish I knew what happened to her. Greenish skin and sharp ears. Does that sound like a witch to you? Cause that sounds like a witch to me. Hmm. All right, just in case this guy decides Trail. to get fresh with us, uh, yes. let me heal up a little bit. Sure. 
Oof. I'm assuming we're not gonna get any good heals. You know what? Fuck it. We'll talk to this guy. And if he wants to get fresh, then he'll get fresh. I've opened the well and scattered the will-o'-the-wisps. You did? And I can st I still can't rest. So, it wasn't those lights after all. I must have done something wrong, then. Or maybe I had something, but didn't? Had to do something, but didn't? Damn it all. If only I could remember. I found some coins in the well. Here, have a look. The ghost studies the coins for several moments, then turns to you. His face grief-stricken. That's what this is all about. That's why I can't rest. Oh, dark things. Dark sins. What do these coins mean? They are a curse. It has a legend in these parts. It was said that if you bore hatred in your heart, hatred so fierce it could burn another soul, all you need to do is etch your enemy's name on a coin and cast it into the cursed well. It would be the end of them, the ghost nods. And the end of you as well. Curses carry a heavy price. If you hate another more than you love your own life, well, your life it is for forfeit already. Whose names are on these coins? Wilbur, that's me. And I thought I had no enemies at all. And here were two who wanted me gone from this world. These coins, look at them. The inscription was done by different hands. And the second name, the second. Cali... Calitropsia. Sounds familiar. Ah, right. That's the Dryad, my daughter's new love. Someone must have hated her so much that he was willing to doom his own immortal soul to get rid of her and me. I guess this Yabo Dorsey was the one who cursed us. Her for stealing his bride, and me for letting it happen. Nasty things, nasty sins, but who else would wish me dead? I've got no slightest idea about that. What keeps you from your eternal rest? Here they are. These coins just won't let me go. Those with my name on it, they are symbols of a curse. I was hated by not one, but two persons. Their hatred is, a, is the rope that ties me to this world and keeps me awake. I don't know if a curse like that could be lifted, but do me a favor. Put the coins on the altar of Aristil. It's nearby, in the temple ruins. Maybe my god will take mercy on me. Let me uh, rest at last. Look at this photograph. Every time I look at it, it makes me laugh. And also this letter. It's written by the same hand as your name on the coin. After reading the letter, the old man shakes his head, devastated. Oh, Nida, Nida, what have you done? And what have I done, such an old fool? The ghost raises his grief-stricken eyes at you. While I was alive, I was a coward. A coward and a liar. That's how it went. On one hand, I felt Dorsey was a good man, a reliable man. A much better match for my daughter than some dryad. On the other hand, it would bring misfortune on me, on us, the village, to refuse the Fae, and my Nida. She truly loved the dryad. What was I left to do? If I gave her to Dorsey, the Fae would seek revenge. If I gave her to the Fae, Dorsey would seek revenge. I used to give advice, but I couldn't heed it myself. I was a fool. The ghost speaks lower, as if hearing his own voice for the first time. I... I lied to Dorsey. I actually did really love him. And, um, when we made sweet love, I was actually making love to him and not just raucous, violent, vigorous sex. No, it was actual love. Saying they, uh, the uh, the Fae threatened me. Then, I lied to my daughter, telling her Dorsey had persuaded me, or pers pursued me. Then I waited for the situation to solve itself, and it did. Dorsey grew to hate me, and so did my own daughter. The ghost shakes his head and closes his eyes. Alright, well, I don't know if you deserve eternal rest, but I guess we'll put the coins on your altar? Place the coins on the altar. For a moment, nothing happens. Then the coins evaporate silently, steaming away into mist. The ghost watches the coins evaporate to mist, almost in disbelief. At last, you have my gratitude. I feel tired, but I think I have enough energy to muster just one blowjob. Only for one of you, though. I, the dog's giving me some really, really funny looks there. Well, I mean, you know, gotta do what you gotta do. The ghost blinks and you notice his silhouette is blurring slightly, evaporating as the coins did, but more slowly. But I must reward you somehow. A real gummy ectoplasmic blowjob. I've got nothing except for... Wait, under that boulder. I hid something there years ago. It's a cast of my dick. So you can make one for yourself and go fuck yourself with it. I have no need of it now. For me, it is time to rest. And with that, the ghost dissolves into the into thin air. Fant- Oh! The fuck is this? Is that a helmet for my dick? Galactery of positive channeling. <gasps> what? Hold on. I'm assuming then that would be good for a harem, right? That's a... 
Helmet. Where be this... Helmet. Why doth I not see this item? Where you be? Sir? Oh, there we go. Um, If the wearer of this headband has the ability to channel positive energy, it increases the amount of damage this ability does to undead creatures or heals to comp living creatures by 2d6. Whoa! Okay. That sounds pretty fucking fantastic. Alright, uh... Let's have you heal our... Wow! Well, I mean... Holy crap, holy! Now that's the kind of healing I'm talking about, dude. Fantastic! Alright, good job. Um, Let's go see if we can't tussle with those giant slugs now. My search was not in vain. Dizzy head. The fuck is that? I'll take step, it regardless, step, step. but, um, interesting. Uh, wait, Fabrosi, you don't have the ability so to resist disease, diseases so or, um, what's it, uh, stuff, right? No, I think that comes next. Damn it. Wait, that's poison, though, isn't it? Can I walk around this mist, or is that gonna poison me? Alright, well, uh, let me quick save again. Another double quick save, and we'll uh, go taunt this snail Let's into approaching us. Them. I'm sure it's gonna approach us very slowly, though. I mean, if the stereotype about death slugs is true. Alright, um, does anyone have any salt? Can you maybe pepper some uh, salt on your um, arrows there, Ekun? What? You've got ranged attacks? Oh my god! Wow! Okay, calm the fuck down, Mr. Slug. Jesus! Dude! Not cool, spitting shit at my, at my dudes and fucking killing uh, Valerie almost right off the bat. Valerie, you're gonna need to uh, heal yourself up because... I guess, you know what, why don't you uh, do some healing for us, Harem? And that has unfortunately healed up the uh, snail as well, but... Wow! Alright, Probosi's taking a bit of damage, but... Um, oh, turns out that maybe they're not too tough? Level 12, no fucking idea about their... The rest of their stats, though. Wait, are you actually trying to hit Harem? Is that what it is? Alright, Slug 1 dead. Slug 2 must also die, of course. And is now taking melee attacks, which I'm definitely okay with. Alright, do we know more, more about you? Oh, come on! I was just about to look at its stats. Damn it, guys. Oh, we can't... We can't skin it?! The road calls me. But I wanted some slug skin leather boots. I'm just gonna send for Rosie. Oh, what that was a mistake, this? it turns out. Fucking poison. Oh, for Rosie also has no fucking uh, perception whatsoever, right? Damn it. Can I maybe go through here then? Is that the way to go around, actually? Oh, it turns Forwards. out that... Nope. No, no, backwards. That uh, backwards. did not end well for us. It turns out. Son of a bitch. Alright. Harem. Herbrosi needs healing because he's a dumb-dumb. Come on. Uh, a little bit of fatigue. Oh. That didn't fully heal you up. Well, that's unfortunate. I mean, I guess we can just rest until we are fully healed up. Because I think, uh... Yeah, negative two constitution is fairly substantial, but that being said, maybe we'll be all right. Uh, have you explored this area? I seem to recall there being some slugs over there too, but have we explored this area? I mean, I'm assuming it just leads outside, but maybe there's some stuff to be... Oh. Ooh. I see. Well, sorry. All right, just in case, let's heal up a little bit. Wow, quite the a difference there. And we'll take the mobility check. Oh, something's coming. I see some lights approaching us. Another fucking will o' the wisp. You've got to be kidding me with this shit. Lindsay, can you fascinate, please? Can you not kill my dudes if you don't mind? Lindsay, where's my fascination? Hello. Oh, they're dead. That's it. I thought I saw, like, three lights coming at us. Uh, there appears to be a dead body that I can fondle, maybe. What's in wait for me there, I Rustling of the branches sounds like quiet weeping. Okay. 
What's up with you? A corpse of a beautiful girl lays in the middle of a uh, glade. You can see the black sin of caked blood on her flowing dress, despite the years that have passed since the girl's death. The body bears no sign of decay. Her pale hands clutching a white lily are folded on her chest peacefully, and a wreath of fresh flowers crowns her head. There's a glint of fine jewelry on her uh, body. A necklace, earring, earrings, and a ring on her finger. As you study the jewelry, uh, you hear hissing voices from every direction. Faye, but despite the number of voices, you cannot see a single one. Get hence! Get hence! Let our Nida sleep or you will regret it. Oh, that's Nida. So sad and romantic. Whoever she was, someone really loved her. The ring you found at the scythe tree uh, starts to glow softly. As it does, you hear the faint sound of a woman sobbing. But it's strangely removed as if coming from far away. Who's there? Show yourself. A flurry of giggles and a few mocking jabs comparing you to the unfavorable end of a mule are your only answer. Well, at least they didn't call me, um, tell me, t say that my mother is a hamster and my father smelt of elderberries, so I guess we're good there. Uh, let's detect magic. The body bears a strong preservation enchantment that keeps decay at bay. Take the ring you've collected to the scythe tree and put it on the body. Uh, I would take the jewelry, but I'm assuming that if I do, we're going to get cursed in some way, and I don't really want to deal with that. Knowing my luck, I'll most likely be just webbed for the rest of my life. So, we'll... It makes my skin crawl, but I guess we'll take the lawful good option, because I want to see what happens. You put the glowing ring over the girl's chest and hear a sigh of relief. The jeers and threats of the Fae become murmurs, then dissolve into silence. That's it. Trail me. Can I take her body with me and then set it up as like a tourist attraction or something? Oh, did you see that? You know, gloat to people about how we have a body that won't, you know, rot or whatever, like the bodies of Mother Teresa and all the other saints, etc., etc. No. Okay. Well, hopefully, I made the right choice. All right, old Beldame, I have your mushrooms. Show the herb you found at the swamp. This seems to be an unusual herb. Oh. Uh, let's give her the mushrooms. Here are your black rattle caps. The old woman smells the mushrooms and takes a small bite. She chews on it slowly for a, mo a moment, then grins a gleam in her eye. Ha! Huh, strong! These will be good, all right! After her new herbs are tucked away, she seems a bit more pleasant and even gives a gap-toothed smile. That's a proper greeting! Trading favors! Tell me! Uh, help me, and I help you. So what did you want to know, hmm? Ask. I know the area. Might be able to help you on your way, or maybe you need some potions? Nothing cheap, but nothing you can't afford. And they do the trick they do. Hmm. Uh, she's starting to sound like a female Yoda. Maybe I shouldn't do the hmm thing anymore. Let's show her the herb. Uh, she takes the herb between her bony fingers, sniffs it, and gives you an approving nod. You've got a good eye. This herb is useful, but not by itself. Look here. You need to mix it with a red herb to get its full effects, like in the hit video game series Resident Evil. Have you played that? I haven't played that in a little while, but um, I'm not sure if I like the new ones. I don't know. She shows you three different herbs. This one's Mudleaf, that there's Gloomberry, and that, that's the Dizzy Head. One, guess what it does. If you can find three bundles each, bring them to me. Okay, um... What happened here? As far as I've heard, a daughter of a human and a fae used to live here. Her name was Elga Verniex. Are you her? I'm assuming she is. Uh, what happened here? I have no idea. Used to be a village here. Good folk. Well off, but not so well off to put on airs. They were at peace with the fae, even had festivals. Celebrated with them. Made love to them. Oh man, I love getting some fae dick. Uh, but that was long ago. Six or seven dozen years at least. What? Six or seven dozen years? So, 72 to what? Um, 84 years? Good grief. As for what ruined them, I don't know. Gotta guess, though. In the darkest nights, a strange sounds from, come from deep in the woods. Crackling and moaning, much like the noises that come out of my hooter. Uh, my vagimter, that is, not my hooter, as in my breasticles. Yeah, you know, it's, it's fine. As if a great tree is twisting its roots, rattling its branches like bone, there's something there, a creature that drove away folk and fear like. 
Um, as far as I've heard, a daughter of a human and a fae used to live here. Her name was Elga Verniex. Are you her? Her, sorry. The old bell dame averts her uh, eyes. Might be me, she sighs, or might not. What's the difference? Who would still remember that name? Um, tell her about the coins. I've learned what happened to the village. I've slain the monster and freed a cursed soul. She listens to your tale, nodding her head. So, that's how it all happened. A scary thing it is, this curse and all. It would seem just a tall tale, but here we are. The village is gone, so who's to blame, you think? Dorsey, he was the one who cursed Wilbur and Cali Calitropsia. Nita, if she hadn't cast Dorsey aside, none of this would have happened. Wilbur, he's been stalling with the decision for too long, and in the end, uh, everyone started hating him. Calitropsia, she, he's put a spell on Nita and stolen her from Dorsey. Maybe something else destroyed the village? What do you think? Why bring this all up again? It's not important anymore. Uh, what do you think? The old woman slowly smiles her, smiles and shakes her head. Now more than ever, she reminds you of a fae of the forest. It's not up to me, judging folk. Gods can judge. It's easy for them, for they know everything. The young folks can judge as well. It's even easier for them, for they know nothing. And I... I just keep it all in my memory. Okay, um, how much for your potions? Let me see what you got first. Right. Frost Quarterstaff. Now, I know Fabrosi can use, uh, Quarterstaffs and whatnot. Ooh. Oh, you can only have, uh, you only have the three. Alright, cool. Um... Hmm. How much of Feather Tokens? Wait, we already got one of those, right? Yeah, we're okay with that. Uh, I mean... Maybe some of this might be useful, but I don't think we really need to uh, invest in that right now. Looking for a lost child? Have you eaten him? A boy? What would I do with a brat? Pickle him in a jar? See, I knew it. She's been feasting on young boys. She uh, hasn't paid the troll toll to get into this boy's hole. Uh, that's rich! See, she gives a rattling laugh. Where is it written if an old woman likes a little peace and quiet, she must be a child-stealing witch? I mean, you've got the hat. Who knows what could have snatched up a child? Mayhaps he's been eaten by goblins, or lured to the swamp by the wandering lights. Or maybe his poor sobbing mother, with all her false tears, strangled him in his sleep, then put him to bed with a shovel somewhere deep in the forest, and now looks for someone to mantle the blame. Go to her, squeeze her, squeeze answers from her, make her tell her where her, where her whelp is, but don't be bothering me. Oh, perception check. She's shaking with indignation. She's a proud woman, you can tell that easily. And the fact she's breaking composure makes you sure she's telling the truth. Huh. Okay, so I guess we don't know. She doesn't actually know. Intra Good riddance. You accuse someone of eating a child once, and then they fucking lose their shit on you. Unbelievable. Wow, so rude. That was completely unnecessary. So, I seem to recall... Slugs there, and I think something else around that region, too? And... Oh, yeah, there was that zombie... Ah, there you are. Alright, Mr. Ghoul. I guess I'll talk to you. Uh... Oh, right. We've destroyed the coins to give final rest to the ghost of an old man. So I'll never rest. Never. With a heartbreaking howl, the dead man lunges at you. Wait, who is this guy again? Your life was he someone significant? Was this guy Dorsey? I think he was, right? Or am I mistaken? Could be wrong. No indication as to who he actually was in real life. Or not in real life, obviously, because, you know, it's it's a video game, but still. Let me go check out the Venomous Hodag situation again. Um... Any way to, uh, draw their ire without, you know, getting too deep into this? Or is that a no-go? Let's put some, uh, stuff on Valerie. Sure. And you start approaching. And there they come! Alright, actually stay put, because they don't want you to take an attack of opportunity. Fuck me. Alright, uh, Lindsay, let's see if we can maybe fascinate these guys. Though, we are running out of, a uh, song stuff. 
Yeah. Oh. No. We might actually be able to uh, pull this off. Yeah. If we can actually just, um, you know, keep up the attack. I know Harem's probably going to uh, snuff it, but if he just faints, I'm okay with that. Just don't die, Harem. Don't fucking die, dog. Nobody die. How about that? Sound good? Uh, Valerie's close to death, which is very unfortunate. She has snuffed it. Fantastic. And Harem's down. Okay, we might be able to pull this off. We just need to, um... Not be surrounded on all sides, which is, of course, easier said than done. And Fabrosi has snuffed it. Fantastic. Well, let's end the episode off here for now. <laughs> the same way that we basically end the episode in our um, previous um, episode. Uh, but yeah, so I might try the fight with the Venom Hodag again. Because um, we have killed at least half of them. And if you can maybe be a bit more careful and not be surrounded on all fours, I think that should help us out immensely. But also... Hmm... Now, we are fairly hurt, so... I mean, now we don't... We've used up a uh, large portion of our uh, buffs, so... Maybe we should come back after we've rested? Hmm... I would like to clear this place up, so we might just go for it. Depends, though. We'll see. Alright, so for now, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast!